Vienna General Hospital, Austria, in the first obstetrical clinic during the 1840s. Ignaz Semmelweis, a young Hungarian doctor, discovered that handwashing could save thousands of lives and was thrown into an asylum for it. In 1847, he noticed something horrifying at Vienna General Hospital. The maternity ward run by doctors had a 18% death rate from childbed fever, while the ward run by midwives had only 2%. The difference? Doctors were coming straight from autopsy rooms to deliver babies without washing their hands. Semmelweis figured out that doctors were carrying deadly particles from corpses to new mothers. He instituted mandatory handwashing with chlorinated lime solutions, and immediately the death rate in the doctor's ward plummeted to match the midwife's ward. In one month, deaths dropped from 18% to less than 2%. He had literally discovered how to prevent thousands of deaths, but instead of celebrating him, the medical establishment destroyed him. Senior doctors were furious at the suggestion they were killing patients. They felt insulted that a Hungarian immigrant was questioning their methods. Hospital administrators banned his handwashing policy the moment he left Vienna. Semmelweis became increasingly desperate. He wasn't wrong, but his approach made enemies. Colleagues had him committed to a mental asylum in 1865 where he was beaten by guards and died at just 47 years old. Forgotten, heartbroken, alone to death within two weeks. The medical community continued ignoring handwashing for another 20 years. Years later, Louis Pasteur and Joseph Lister confirmed that invisible germs cause infection. And handwashing saves lives. Germs theory finally validated Semmelweis's discovery. By then, hundreds of thousands of women had died unnecessarily from infections that could have been prevented with soap and water. Today, he is known as the father of infection control. Semmelweis died believing he had failed never knowing he would eventually be recognized as the father of infection control.